Explore more about the topics you love with Topper. Subscribe now and keep learning. Continuing our study of types of relations, the next type of relation that we will see is a symmetric relation. Now, let us understand what a symmetric relation is. Now, the condition for a relation to be symmetric is that if A related to B implies B is related to A, for all A and B elements of a certain set capital A, then we say that the relation R is a symmetric relation on the set capital A. Well, this has a second statement as well and it can also be stated in this manner. That is, if the ordered pair A comma B is an element of a relation R, then B comma A should also be a relation of R. And when this condition is satisfied for every A and B belonging to set A, then we say that the relation R is a symmetric relation on the set capital A. Now let us understand this by means of an example. Suppose we have a set A consisting of elements 1, 2 and 3 and then we have a relation R1 consisting of ordered pairs 1, 2 and 2, 1 then you will realize that if 1 is related to 2 by the relation R1 which it is then that should imply 2 is also related to 1 by the relation R1. And so if you look at this first relation R1 you will realize that this implication is satisfied. In a similar manner, if you look at this ordered pair first, that is 2 comma 1, and if you write 2 related to 1 by the relation R1, then this again implies that 1 comma 2, or rather 1 comma 2 is also a part of this relation R1. And so we can now write 1 is also related to 2 according to R2. And because both these implications hold for the elements 1 and 2 of the set A, we will say that R1 is indeed a symmetric relation on set A. And now looking at yet another example of relation R2, realize that R2 contains the ordered pairs 1 comma 3, 3 comma 1, 2 comma 3 and 3 comma 2. And if you look at R2 closely, you will realize that if 1 comma 3 is a part of relation R2, then that should imply 3 comma 1 is also a relation of R2, which is true in this case, because both 1 comma 3 and 3 comma 1 belong to R2. Likewise, Going in the reverse direction, if 3 comma 1 belongs to R2, then that should imply that 3, 1 comma 3 also belongs to R2, which is also the case here. Similarly, if you check for these two ordered pairs, that is 2 comma 3 and 3 comma 2, you will realize that 2 comma 3 implies 3 comma 2 is also part of R2. Likewise, 3 comma 2 also implies that 2 comma 3 is also part of R2. And so, whenever the first and the second coordinates of every ordered pair are changed, then if the resulting ordered pair also lies in the relation R2, then you will realize that or rather you will then state that R2 is a symmetric relation on the set A. Now let us look at an example and try to determine if R3 is a symmetric relation on set A as well or not. Note that R2 contains the ordered pair 1, 2 and so it also contains 2, 1 and so with respect to elements 1 and 2 we can say that 1, 2 implies 2, 1 and 2, 1 implies 1, 2 and so we can say that these first two ordered pairs do satisfy the relation for R3 to be symmetric. Now let us go to the next ordered pair that is 2 comma 3. Note that we do have 2 comma 3 and we also have 3 comma 2 and so we can say that if 2 comma 3 implies 3 comma 2 likewise 3 comma 2 also implies 2 comma 3 then for these two ordered pairs also R3 is said to be symmetric. But we go, when we check the next ordered pair containing 3 and 1 as the coordinates you will realize that 3 comma 1 is present here but 1 comma 3 is missing. And so because 1 comma 3 is missing, we say that 3 comma 1 here cannot imply 1 comma 3. And so we say that this relation R3 is not a symmetric relation on the set A. So for a relation to be a symmetric relation on a certain set A, it should always imply that if we have a relation of the form alpha related to beta under the relation R, then we should also have beta related to alpha. And if one of these implications is incorrect we will say that or if one of these implications do not hold then we can say that the relation that we are talking about that is the relation R that we are talking about is not a symmetric relation. Explore more about the topics you love with Topper. Subscribe now and keep learning.